I'm here to talk about a few basic things with Excel. Uh, one is like creating totals, subtotals, working about percentages, and a quick thing on doing a graph. This is what the solution will look like where we got percentages, increases, totals, and a chart here. First thing, we want to put the totals in here. What we do is we click on the sigma key. Do you see how it's including row 3? That we have the year 2009. That doesn't belong in there, so we just highlight these cells here. Got that there. And then we pull it over to the right. Let me explain something here. You see these little green tags here? It wants you to include the 2009 in here. If I click inside the cell, I click inside here, I could just say ignore the air. It'll get rid of that little green tag. Again, I go over here and ignore the error. For the most part, you will get used to seeing them. They can be a bit annoying. Next thing we want to do, we want to know what the increase or decrease is here. This can be a little bit tricky for some of us, but if we look at it, we said our sales were 912 in 2009, and we sold 850 roses in 2010. You know it's less, so it's a percentage decrease. And to do this, we've got to get the difference between these two numbers. We have to subtract 2009 from 2010 and then divide it by the 2009 sales. So we begin the formula, and we have to use parentheses here. So it's going to be C4 minus B4. Close the parentheses and we divide by the previous year. We don't need an absolute reference here. We just bring it down. We want this to look like a percent. We click on the percent. We can add a decimal point and pull it down. So let's say it's a 4% here. Let's say we want to add another little calculation in here knowing what 2010 share of sales were. So I could type in here 2010 share. If we want to put the uh, format this here, we click over here, paintbrush over here, 2010 share. So I want to know what percent of these numbers in here they were. So it would be equal 850. We had 850 roses a total of 4,077. So we divide it by the 4,077. We have to make that a constant. Press the F4 key, the dollar signs. Make it look like a percent. We could add one decimal point. And then if we just drag it down all the way, it's 100%. Other thing too here, minor thing here. You added a column. So what I want to do is I could just highlight these cells here, merge them again. Click on it again, it has it there. I could click on the Format Painter brush. Works down, it didn't work here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just click on the Merge and Center. We've got that there. So we've got all these calculations. Now let's say we want to do a chart showing what things were. Let's say here, we want to do a chart on all the flowers sold. For each of these, you've got to highlight the range. Don't include data that doesn't belong there. So I go to Insert. I go into, these shows all the types of charts here. I just want to do a 3D column chart. I click here. I've got it done practically instantly. I move it over. I could change the style of it. I could click on any one got that or I could go up here make it gray make it any color you want if I want to add a title I can click on these things here layout here and I could say chart title above chart highlight the information in here and call it sales comparison call it anything you want. Let's say you want to do a chart showing the percent share for 
2010. You have to highlight two non-adjacent ranges. Very easy. Highlight rows through mums, as I'm doing here. Now you just hold down the control key and make sure they're the same shape and size. If it's off kilter, you're going to end up with a train wreck. So I go to insert and I'm going to go to another column chart here, 3D column. I have the thing here showing the percent here. I don't need this here. I can delete this. Let's say I want this to be a separate page. I click on move chart. I could say new sheet and then I could call it percent of market. Moves over here. Again you can change the flavor of the colors here. I can make it purple if I want to change each one. I click once then a second time double click and then I could chant right click in here and then I could go into here to format the data point and then I could change the colors in here fill it says automatic I could go in here and say solid and then it shows another color here I can make it burgundy close uh, click in here again show you one more time right click left click on format data point go to fill I say solid fill and I can choose another color close so this way you can make it technical you can change the fonts other things here easy way just click inside here click on the home tab I could make the font larger make it bold make it a color on there or I could just choose something a little more subtle I could do this also on this thing here make it that make it bold make it a little larger so that it shows up when we print it on there so these are the basics of working with these charts and in statistics